Good morning public. It is quarter to six in the morning on a Tuesday here on the central coast of New South Wales in a little town called King Cumber. That's just the traffic in the background. Do you see what I see here public? I see a planet sitting at four o'clock. Alright. See it? I'm trying to keep it focused here on my telescope. Please be patient. And I see the blue kachina. Hey? What have we got here, public? Let's have a look at the blue kachina. Hey, I got the blue kachina. I just took out the morning star so it can give you a better idea that there is a planet there. But if I put the morning star in, it starts blocking it out. That's what's happening. You don't want sunlight around it. You want to get it at dark so you can see what you're looking at. And here I'm looking at the blue kachina. Look at that moving. Oh, that is mad. I tell you, the best thing I ever did was buy this telescope because I've discovered Planet X and the blue kachina. And Planet X is the red kachina, known as Wormwood, Nibiru, Planet X, the Destroyer. Comes around every 3,600 years, public. It's the planet that NASA has been hiding from public all along. Anyway, public, just get prepared. If you want to take my advice, it's up to you. I'm not trying to uh, brainwash you. You've got your own um, thoughts. But I'd be getting my money out of the bank before it goes missing. Yeah, because once the grid goes down and there's no power, you cannot draw money if there's no power. Think about it. Isn't that nice? The blue kachina. I'm on a uh, 20 mil lens because I've burnt the hell out of me 15 mil lens for uh, looking at the sun with it, with a red filter. So, thank you very much for watching my video of the blue kachina. Unbelievable. See? Stay up all night and look what you find. Another planet heading towards Earth like an out-of-control freight train. I'm just going to move this telescope around now and see if I can find back, Mer um, not Mercury, uh, the morning star. I think that uh, planet that was sitting next to the morning star was actually Mercury. But thank you for watching. And that's what I do believe, that that was Mercury sitting next to the sun. And I got the morning star. And I'm not being rude, public, but I think this star is burning my lens on my telescope. It's getting hot. Unless I have just been up too many hours and it's just in my imagination but it feels warm and the sun's not even up but anyway thanks for watching me video stay safe everyone and look up I'm looking at the eastern sky the morning star that is the evening star and a lot of people don't know that they think they're two separate stars when they're not you got the Sun, you got Mercury, you got Venus, you got the Earth, you got Mars, and then you got the Jupiter and Saturn, and Uranus and Neptune. You know, so and then you got Pluto out at the ninth planet, but Pluto's still sitting around near Mercury. What the hell is that sitting next to Mercury? Pluto. I've proved that on me um, Star Tracker app. Just download the Star Tracker app and with a little telescope as a logie, download that and you'll see exactly what I mean. Just get your location in your north, east, west, south, correct, where you are in the world and what do you have? You just point it around and it tells you.